guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are making a, another um, fighter paper airplane. Um, this one is super cool because it's got two air intakes. Um, they're a little hard to see because they're not super big. But you can see the little holes in there. Um, or not holes pieces of paper that are rounded out. Um, it's also got a creative little, not exactly realistic, but cool little tail fin on. And it's got cool wings that I like because they look different than a lot of other wings. And it's got, and the back looks pretty cool too. Um, but yeah, let's get right onto the folds. So first you're going to start out on with the piece of paper, um, square, fold in half, turned into a triangle. Um, now you're going to fold these corners in. Unfold. And now you're going to get into the main part um, by flipping it paper over. I'm here, so this screen is a little different where you are, but um, you're going to fold in half just to get the crease so that you know where you're working. Um, and now you want to do this sort of gouache fold sort of thing with the second layer of paper. I opened it up a little bit. Um, if you don't know how to do a squash fold, link in the description box below. Um, and basically squash fold. And then you want to fold it over basically as much as you can without bending the paper into sort of a, uh, I don't know how to describe it. I guess it's kind of like into a different type of weird petal fold sort of thing, but not all the way. Um, so you don't want to get caught up with that, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, repeat on the other side. Let's squash fold, line it up. Might take you a minute to line these up and make them look similar and be close enough. They don't have to be perfect. Like, you don't need to go get a level and do all that stuff. But it does need to be close and then fold down. And again, make sure you're not making it look like some sort of petal fold sort of thing. Um, I'll show you what that looks like. It's it's like if you do that and this piece of paper starts to fold over. You don't want that to happen. Even just a little bit of it like that is not good. So you want to fold it over. Um, but not too little. You also want to fold it over as far as you can. So without doing the pedal fold thing. Um, moving on, now you're going to fold this down, and you want, you want it to stick out a, a good bit. Um, the bigger you make it stick out, the bigger the tail fin is going to be and look. So if you want a really big tail fin, then stick it out really far. But if you want a small one, stick it out very little, or even not even stick it out over. I'm going to increase... If you have a creasing knife or a creasing rock, use that. If you don't use, you can use your fingernail or like a pencil will work fine too. You just don't draw on it if you don't want it to look like that. Um, but anyways, now let's get into the next part, which is going to be creating the wings. So you're going to fold it into the middle crease. Crease it with your creasing knife extremely well. Um, I call this the wing fold because it's what you do to make the wings. Um, and then you're, because you're going to fold it back out and crease that extremely well. Don't crease it too hard that you tear your paper though, because that's never good. Um, and then repeat on the other side. And you want to match them. Okay, so 
now that you've done the wing fold, you can get ready for the um, jet fold. Um, one thing I like to do before I jet fold is you can see if you move this paper out of the way, you can see there's this part. I like to uh, remove it basically by just folding up. Basically, as far as you can is good. And then cover the paper back up with it. Um, depending on the size of your model, you might be able to do it more or less. Try and do it as much as you can. If you want your wings to be, um, if you want your wings to stick out a lot and be more cool. This one doesn't really need it as much. There we go. Um, you might, if you did it a little bit differently than how I did it, you might not even see, like here, this side barely, you can really see it. If you turn the model over, you'll see this side, I did do a little bit of, like, basically trimming, but this side barely really needs it because it can barely fit it, um, but you want to tuck it under. If you don't know what I'm talking about, um... It's not really a big deal if you don't do anything, because it really doesn't do anything. <laughs> I just do it to make the wings stick out better. Um, now you're going to jet fold. If you don't know how to jet fold, it's a jet fold is basically an inside reverse fold sort of thing. Um, you probably... If this is your first um, video watching uh, our of our paper airplane videos, you're probably not familiar with the jet fold. You might have seen it if you know who Jason Mural is because he created it. Um, but otherwise, we have a video tutorial on how to do the jet fold. I'll um, put in a link in the description so that you can go check that out because it's basically the key to every single airplane. Whether you're inventing it or watching a advanced video like one of Jason Muriel's videos or one of our videos, we always use it. And now you're gonna inside reverse fold the tail fin up like you'll see in basically every other video. I did the tail fin a little bit differently. This one's much smaller. This one I made large. So, it's really, you can just do it however you want. That's the thing I like about folding origami, is every way you do it, you can always do it differently. And sometimes it's an accident, but then you realize, you know, I kind of like it better this way, you know. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm going over with my creasing knife. Making sure everything is crease nice and well um and fold the wings up usually i do that first um you're just folding the wings up usually i do that the first the first thing after the jet fold but i did the tail fin first this time it doesn't really matter it's not like in the beginning where you're making it and everything has to be in order um now I'm just touching up the back because it's a little wonky. Just fixing some stuff. Um, that's one of the steps I like to do. Um, now, this one, I um, have it set up a little bit differently. Um, so there is no... Um, you can make the air intakes if you um, don't use that flap, but um, I did have to undo my jet fold because I got them stuck. Um, they got stuck under the wing, um, so my part, my bad on that part. Um, sometimes that happens. You don't. You forget to pull them out. Now I'm going to redo the jet fold, but it's pretty easy because I've already 
done it, so it kind of just falls into place because I already have the crease in its crease wall. So now you're just gonna kind of basically, if you've seen other videos that I do air intakes, you basically just roll. Um, this one's not the greatest example because I don't have very big, they're not very big. I didn't make them as well this time. Um, if you have a pencil, that is usually helpful to kind of curl them around. Um, and then you kind of square them off at the end. Okay, so that's one air intake. Um, on this side, and here you can see it right there. And then the wing is kind of covering it up. But that's one air intake. And then on the other side, it's I kind of messed it up a little bit. That's okay, because we can fix it. This paper got stuck in there. That's what was wrong the whole time. Um, so I'm going to redo that. Pull that back out. And roll. Start to build up the roll. That air intake isn't as good because I put it in a little bit wonky. So I'm just fixing it up. Not a very good air intake. I am trying to do this quickly because I know you guys don't really need to sit here and watch me do all this junk, but um, there. Let me just grab this pencil right here and open them up. There's actually a way um, that you can do four air intakes. I'm not going to do that today because the model isn't set up properly. Um, you have to do it. The model needs to be a little bit different. This isn't the greatest one to do it on. But it is possible. I... Um, I might already have a video that I did it. I don't think I do, but there's a chance I might. I have a lot of plain videos on the channel, so. But I think um, if you want to see one of those, um, hit that like button and um, yeah. So comments are um, disabled. Um, for some of the videos, I can still see some of the comments, but for a lot of the videos, the comments are disabled, um, and I can't re-enable them, but they might be on, they might have comments on this video, but, um, anyways, since you can't comment, I don't know how you like the video, and so, um, you're just gonna have to hit that like button. And if you want to see more plain videos in the future, I haven't been posting that often, but I'm releasing two videos almost at the same time. Um, well, basically at the same time if you're watching this in the next few days. Uh, but yeah, so there's your plane. Pretty cool. Here's the other one that's a little bit different, but basically the same. But yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, and share with your friends um, so that they can see this cool video.